Joining me now is Paul Venables. He's Group Finance Director of Worldwide Recruitment Agency Hayes. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. Now, we had the IMF saying that their forecast for growth will increase this year opposed to, as opposed to what they uh, announced in April. How do you see the general trading conditions? Well, I think we can see different conditions in each of the three markets that we operate in. Across Asia Pacific, there is a very strong recovery. And I think we're a bellwether of that, both for consumer confidence and for our client confidence. If you take the Asia markets that we operate in, in this quarter versus a year ago, our own recruitment trends are 100% up year on year. And in Australia and New Zealand, which is our largest market in Australia, we're 22% up. So we are seeing across all areas of the market, whether it's resource and mining, accounting and finance, banking, a strong recovery in Asia. In Europe, we're seeing the starts of a recovery. Paul Venables, yep. let me just cut you off right there because I wanted to know more about Asia. You're deciding not to expand in Asia and yet you're actually growing in the US and Mexico. What's the rationale behind this if you see Asia growing up so much? Well, put it another way around, our own headcount, the amount of people we have working in recruitment in Asia has gone up 20% in the last six months. We're in most of the main key recruitment markets in Asia. We will look to go into other countries over time, but our immediate opportunity is simply to add more heads and, uh, and deliver more jobs for our clients. So there is very strong recovery there. We don't need to enter any new markets at the moment. But you're entering the U.S. and you're entering Mexico. Yeah, because Again, do you think that these will be some pockets of growth? I think South America for most recruitment companies is a fantastic opportunity. It's a very uh, immature market for, for, for white-collar recruitment staffers. We have a big business in Brazil. We're number two in the marketplace there. We drove more than 50% growth year on year in this quarter. There's fabulous opportunities for us in Mexico and then on to, into Argentina. Uh, Paul Venables, how concerned are you actually about growth in Europe? We're expecting the ECB decision today. It does seem that monetary policy here is, is pretty hazy. Does that make you more prudent about your business in the Euro continent? Well, I think the good news is we're now seeing recovery in all private sector markets globally. We've seen quite a pickup in European recovery in the last three to six months. Our own business grew at 16% in this quarter in Europe. So Europe, we're seeing the start of a, of a job recovery, mainly in the temp and contractor market, now moving into perm. Very strong economic conditions in Germany. And I think you know, any, there's no obvious need for any uh, fiscal tightening at the moment across Europe um, because we're just beginning to see the signs of a clear recovery taking shape. Uh, Paul Venables, we only have 20 seconds left. I wanted to get your outlook on U.S. jobs. You're entering that market, and yet unemployment is rising over there. Yeah, for us, it's more our, our clients are driving us. We have a fabulous pharmaceutical business. We're looking to take that into the U.S. But still, what, what, what drives um, recruitment volumes is candidate confidence. And globally at the moment, our own surveys are showing a, an improvement in candidates' willingness to change jobs. Paul so Venables. it's a good time to expand. We have to leave it there.